It's been now almost four months since the Pretrial Fairness Act went into effect. The act ended cash bail here in our state of Illinois. And now we have an update on the numbers from county officials and how many people have been detained and then released. Our Julia Rosier has more on the data here in Illinois. It's been almost four months since the end of cash bail went into effect in Illinois. The Pretrial Fairness Act allows judges to decide whether an individual can be released or stay detained while awaiting their trial. In Sangamon County, State's Attorney John Milheiser says his office looks at every case individually. We do it where, based on the specific facts of the case, we believe it is important to protect the public to detain that individual. But since the end of cash bail went into effect, his office has filed motions to detain about 100 individuals. Judges ruled about 70% of them would stay detained. We're not trying to detain everybody where the law allows it. We're looking at every case individually and specifically with the facts in, in that particular case. And in the jail, Sheriff Jack Campbell says the jail is housing less inmates than in 2022. Whenever we can single cell the inmates and when there's less inmates down there to feed and to provide medical care for, then we actually save some money there too. The jail is averaging 100 less inmates per day, making the average about 220 inmates. In 2022, the jail was averaging 323 inmates each day. We have to sit back and still watch and keep track of our crime stats and watch and see what trend is happening and then try to track the individuals that are released to see if they are truly responsible for some of these crimes. Thanks, Julia, for that report. Now, Sheriff Campbell says community safety is still a big concern for him and his office is keeping track of those repeat offenders who come back to the jail. We'll continue, of course, to update numbers with the most recent data over on our website.